the biggest turnip you've ever seen. Hello, Chuckle News, can I help you? Yeah. No, no, let me stop you there. You want our news desk? I'll just put you through. Hang on. Hello, can you just hang on a moment, please? Thank you. You see, the thing is, Mrs McAllister, it's not really front-page news turnips, is it? But it isn't just the turnips. Look at this. No? No. Where do you see my collie? Hello, Scoop Peters here. This is the news desk. Can I help you? Uh, no, no. You'll be wanting our music page. I'll just put you through. Hold on. Now, you see, Mrs McAllister, the thing is, with newspapers, what you need for a front... What are you doing? Just drawing me celery. Perhaps you'd like a wee gander at my petit pois. I don't think that'll be necessary. Hello, can you just hold on a moment, please? Thank you. What do you think about this onion? This is McAllister. That's your lot. Pardon? What I mean to say is we don't want to see any more. But you still haven't seen Macaulay. Well, hi-ho, music page here. This is Damon Drainpipe. Can I help you? Uh, no, no. You want the women's page? Can you just hold on, please? Now, look, Mrs McAllister, we're not interested in your vegetables. So that isn't what you said yesterday. Hello, can you just hold on a moment, please? Thank you. I distinctly remember you saying you were on the lookout for... Leeks. Oh, well, it's not really the right season, but I may have one or two. Not those kind of leeks. Leeks, leeks. You know, as in cabinet leeks. Well, my cabinet doesn't leak. You just don't get it, do you? You see, we're in newspapers. Well, that's a coincidence. So is my grandson. Is he really? Is he a reporter, then? No, he's a wee paper boy. Look, you've heard of tycoons. Well, I knew it had been a wee bit windy lately, but I didn't think it was anything more than a gale. And it's rather worrying, you know, because I do have a slate loose. I have noticed. Hello, Clarissa Collie Chuckle here. This is the ladies' page. Can I help you? No, no. This is double eight one three two five. Thank you. Now, you see, Mrs McAllister, I have become what is known as a newspaper magnet. Oh, you mean like that nice Mr Murdoch? No, he means if you dangle him on a string, his head always points north. Oh, but what about Macaulay? Look, for the last time, we're not interested in your vegetables. Not your cucumbers, your carrots or your collie. But... They said they weren't interested in you, Hamish. Never mind. Let's go home. Come on. Hey, it's very good. It's quite good. What do you mean? Well, there's something missing. Like what? Like a front page story. Oh, I'm good at stories. Once upon a time, there were three bears. Not that kind of story. What type of story, then? Well, a new story. Oh, a new story. Mm. Once upon a time, there were three mega bears in space suits. Well, you stop it. What we need is something of local interest. Something that's happening, you know. Oh, I'll have a look in the paper. Oh, that's a good idea. Give it to me. Hey, look. Cindy Solo's coming to town. Who's Cindy Solo? Who's Cindy Solo? Only that famous pop singer. Oh, sing so low you can't hear her. That's her. Come on, there's just time to catch her. Right, you can be photographer, I'll be reporter. Why can't I be the reporter? Because I've got the notepad. OK. And if you're the photographer, there's one vital piece of equipment you'll need. A camera? No, a ladder. A ladder? Yes. Why? Well, there's bound to be lots of people there, and if we're stuck at the back, you'll need a ladder so you can see right over the top. Hey, that's clever. <laughs> Did you think of that yourself? Yes. Well, not exactly. I actually saw it on the news once when the Queen was opening Parliament. The Queen has to carry a ladder? That's not very fair. You'd think they'd let her stand at the front. Just go and get the ladder. OK. Yeah, it's amazing what a difference a 30 or 40 centimetre ladder can make. To you. To you. To you, then. To you. To you. To you. Are you sure we've come to the right place, Paul? Well, I was sure it was today. Perhaps I'm wrong. You better come down, we'll go home. Not like me to get things wrong, is it? No. Oh, hey, somebody's coming out. Let's go and take a picture of it. Right. What are you doing, you newspaper people? No pictures, no pictures. Are you somebody famous, then? Of course, I am Professor Hinzading, the well-known recluse. Recluse? 
Uh, what kind of a job is that then? Uh, no interviews. No. Uh, well, just one or two words for the readers, eh? Nine. No, just one or two. D no, get out of here, Rouse. Does that mean no? Do oh, you newspaper people like? Oh. Our first edition. And no story for the front page. I know. Once upon a time, there were three mega bears. It's no good, Barry. What we need is a good, strong story with local interest. Something that none of the other papers have got. I've got it. Mrs. Mrs. McAllister. So, you want to know about my vegetables now, do you? Well, you see, the thing is, Mrs. McAllister, I think what we've, um... Well, that is Barry. Hey. Uh, sort of made a, an editorial misjudgment. Oh, oh, I see. Well, hard luck. I think this is going to be a bit harder than I thought, Barry. The thing is, you see, Mrs. McAllister, if you'd just let us do a small article about you and your vegetable garden, then we'll let you have free entry into our grand prize competition. What competition? We'll be right back. This kind of competition is called Spot the Ball. I've spotted it. What? It's there. What do I win? No, no, no. It's for the readers. What we have to do is take a picture of the shot at goal, then rub out the ball, and they've got to guess where it is. Well, that's clever. It is, isn't it? Right, I'll take the shot, you take the picture. Who's going in goal? You'll have to. Ready? Ready! Got it! It's not quite right, is it? No. Tell you what, you get over there and take the picture. I've got an idea. OK. Ready? OK. Did you get it? Yes. Great. Come on. Now, Mrs McAllister, if you'd just like to act as though we weren't here at all. <laughs> Oh, all right. We didn't mean that. Oh. What a lovely garden. Barry, take some pictures of the plants. All right. What are these called, Mrs McAllister? Oh, oh well, that one's Thomas. Hello, Thomas. That's Jemima. Hello, Jemima. And that's Alva. Hello, Alva. Fine, that... fine, fine. Is there anything else you've got in the garden? Well, uh, there's a herb garden over there. The herb garden? I was going to put in some parsley, sage and rosemary, but oh, I haven't got time. Talking of time, I really must be getting on. I've got a guest coming later. Yes, yes. Well, uh, I think it's time we've got some background pictures of yourself doing some ordinary things. You know, something that's going to be interesting to our readers. Oh, okay. <laughs> Please, Mrs. McAllister. Mrs. McAllister. Can you turn the vacuum off, please, Mrs. McAllister? Pardon? Can you turn the vacuum off? I can't hear you. I'll have to turn the vacuum off. Can you turn the vacuum off? Sorry. <laughs> What's the birdie? Birdie? Where? Did you see a birdie? Mrs. McAllister. All this vacuuming is of no interest to our readers, you know. But I've got people coming. Yes, but surely there's something more interesting that you do. Have you got any hobbies, that sort of thing? Well, I do like to keep fit. Perfect. <laughs> Go and get changed into your gear. Get changed? For the photos? Oh, I'll just put the hoover away. Don't worry about that. We'll do that for you. Off you go. <laughs> put the vacuum away, Barry. Right. Oh, dear. So, Mrs. McAllister, would you say this keep fit helps you to relax? Usually. And would you recommend it to our readers? Oh, not if they've got people coming round. Would you like some music? Well, no, I, I don't usually. We'll just set up down here. Barry, help me with the settee. Right. Is, there isn't really enough room. There's plenty of room. To me, you. To me, to you. To me, to you. To me. Oh, oh, oh. Ready!
to be putting the tea on. I've got an important guest coming. Cheerio! Here we are. Our first newspaper. Great. <laughs> Why are you reading it upside down? I'm not. You are? Oh, um, well, I did that on purpose. Really? Why? Well, well, you see, if you're on a train and you want to see what's on the back, you just have to go like that, you see. That's clever. It is, isn't it? <laughs> oh, dear. We've still got a space to fill here, look. Oh, dear, oh, dear. I know. We can print the winner of the spot the ball competition in there. Yes. <laughs> I'm sure there's something wrong with that somewhere, but I can't think what it is at the moment. Good afternoon, ladies and gentlemen, and welcome to the grand draw of the Spot the Ball competition. Can I go now? I don't want to be late for my guest. We've just got to make the announcement. As stated in the rules, all the correct entries will be placed in the tombola, and the first one drawn out will be the winner. Barry, could we have the entry for him, please? Certainly. It's mine! Quiet, please. Barry, could you put it into the tombola? Yes. <laughs> At least there's no chance of I getting it right. <laughs> now, mix them up. Oh, it's all so exciting. And the winner is... Anyone will do. Right. Mrs. McAllister! <laughs> oh, I wonder what my grand prize is. Just a minute, just a minute. It has to be checked first, doesn't it? By the official scrutineer. Who's the official scrutineer? Me. Oh. It's right. Oh, it was just where you said it would be. Oh. Where's my prize? We'll bring it round to you later. So what are we going to give Mrs McAllister as her prize? I'm thinking about that. But first of all, we've got to sell these papers. Right. Chuckle News! Chuckle News! Buy your papers here! Buy your papers here! Only 50p! Only 50p! All the top-notch pictures you want to see! All the top-notch pictures you want to see! Chuckle Sports on the back page too! Chuckle Sports on the back page too! Stop it! Stop it! Barry, will you stop it? Barry, will you stop it? You're repeating everything I say! Repeating everything I say! Will you stop repeating everything I say? Oh, sorry. Look, this isn't selling any papers. I've got a better idea. Come on. This is much better. Yeah. We should have done this right from the very beginning. You think people will like it? Oh, we just have to wait and see. I'm sure we'll get some kind of response very quickly. There. The last one. Yep. Time to go home. What are we looking for, Paul? A prize for Mrs McAllister. Oh. There, the very thing. What is it? It's an old painting. It must have been here for years. Let's have a look. Are you sure? Yes. All set. Now, can I pour you a cup of tea? Oh, yes, please. Barry, take a picture of our lucky prize winner. <laughs> it really is such a nice picture. Look this way. Oh, 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 oh goodness, goodness, that's bright. Oh, dear. Oh, that'll be my guest. Ah! Oh, get something to mop it up. Oh, oh. good afternoon, Professor Hinsadine. Professor Hinsadine? I've got some people here from the newspapers. Oh, oh, they've gone. Oh, well, sit down. Yeah. Don't talk to me about newspaper people. I was with two of them this morning, and if I ever get my hands on them again, ooh, I'll, I'll... Oh, I'll... No, 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 there, there, there is a little something I would like you to have a look at. Oh. I only won it today. Oh, oh! I was wondering if it might be valuable. Well, you never can tell. Sometimes, maybe. <laughs> oh, oh, there 
you are. Hello. You, these are the two I was telling you about. Oh, surely not. Oh, what, 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 what are you doing? Oh, oh, dear. Oh, oh, oh. oh look what they've done. Yes. Look what they've done. Oh, I'm sorry about that. That's very interesting. Hey? Oh, you've heard of the artist John Constable. You don't mean to say it's a painting by Constable? <laughs> no, 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 no. This is by his older and more talented brother, Sergeant. <laughs> it's a masterpiece. Oh, it was nothing, really. <laughs> nothing? It's worth a fortune. Barry, a photo. Now, that's what I call front-page news. Yeah. Pity all the pages got stuck together. Yes, well, it's... Hey! No, no. 